What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I've got a whole stack of brake shoes right here to put on my trailer. Uh, thought I'd let you guys join along and uh, give me a hand with it. Uh, these are 23K uh, shoes. Uh, if you don't know anything about uh, semi truck brake shoes, they are rated at 20K or 23K is the most common. Uh, I think they actually do have some off the wall 15K, 18K, and that's a different grade, different grades of the uh, of the lining here. You can see basic 23K uh, shoes. Uh, are supposed to be the better the better grade shoe. I always try to buy the better better grade of stuff. They come with new uh, new rollers and new springs and everything. You should always put those in there. Um, Anyway, uh, we'll go over here and we will uh, pull off one side. I've already got the uh, tire removed and uh, I'll show you guys about the uh, slack adjuster and the uh, an easy way, a super simple way to get the brake drum off uh, without killing your back. Uh, my truck has, or trailer has, or truck as well, automatic slack adjusters. and. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about how brakes work, on semi trucks you have a brake chamber right here, which has a rod on it. See the rod going back there to the end of that slack adjuster. When you apply pressure to your brakes, it extends that rod out, pushes against your slack adjuster, and uh, it uh, rotates this cam right here. Is a cam in here and it's got an S on the end of it and it spreads your brake shoes and uh, anyway there's left and right to all that there's bearings in here uh, if you don't know anything about it you should carry this to a shop you actually have to be uh, brake certified to work on this stuff uh, because of safety concerns but uh, anyway uh, your slack adjusters uh, some of them have a pin you pull out before you, you have to hold the pin up before you can release it with your manual adjusters usually. Uh, most of the automatics I've seen and like these here, you just unscrew it. I've already unscrewed this, but these take a 12 millimeter. Uh, some of them are different. That's tightening it up, you can see. Uh, anyway, and then you wanna back that off before you uh, move your brake drum. And, uh, turning the cam there. All right guys, I got you set up right here. I'm gonna show you the super simple, easy way to pull this brake drum off. I think they weigh, I'm not sure what they weigh, uh, 60, 80, 100 pounds, I'm not even sure. Uh, they're heavy though. You need a dolly. You stick your dolly under the back of it, just like that. And uh, if you want to put it back on there, you can use the dolly to put it back on there as well. You uh, get it back up on there like that. And you can actually, uh, it works better if you straddle the dolly. Uh, put the dolly in between your uh, legs, your hand truck in between your legs, and you can flip it back up on there and push it right back on there. But uh, that's a super simple way to get it off without killing your back. You want to check your drums for uh, maximum diameter. They have a uh, diameter stamped on them, that's 16.620. You want to check. Uh, your groove and your drum across and see uh, what the uh, maximum diameter is. If it's over that or approaching that, you should go ahead and replace it. Uh, I put four brand new drums on this trailer, the last set of shoes. As a general rule of thumb, uh, from what I've been told, two sets of shoes per drum. Uh, so you should be able to swap. If you put on new shoes and drums at the same time, you should be able to replace your shoes one more time before you have to replace the drum. And again, that's a general rule of thumb. Uh, you always need to, uh, to check it and uh, make sure it's within that clearance right there. 
and uh, if not you need to go get you one but uh anyway this is this is kind of the setup you got here you got uh springs here and rollers here this is your uh, ABS sensor right there you know look at that uh, ring right there for damage and everything uh, check your axle seals while you got it apart see if you see any leaking uh, good time to go ahead and fix anything like that and uh, you got to have a quarter inch of lining material right here in the center of this and that's what this groove right here rec represents uh, you can see the, the step right there uh, that is your marking when you should change your brake pads or brake shoes uh, this is your S cam over here uh, as you see how that works when your uh, slack adjuster gets pressure on it it pivots this this away which pushes the shoes apart and uh, makes contact with the drum it's a pretty simple setup really it's just a matter of uh, taking them off now and sticking the new set on and you want to uh, check your uh, bushings and everything in uh, your cam your S cam here you want to check for wear on your S cam and uh, again I've just replaced all of this stuff uh, on the last brake job I did it got all new uh, S cams slack adjusters and everything it needed the whole uh, bearing in here bushings uh, in here and all this stuff is greasable uh, so if you uh, don't grease your stuff that often uh, you should probably check it you have grease elemite here you have grease elemite there you have grease elemite on your slack adjuster so uh, anyway that's uh i don't remember what the specs are but uh there's the specs that uh this has to meet no more clearance uh in and out and up and down i do not recall off the top of my head what that is uh, i'm sure you can look it up but anyway we're gonna go ahead and get the uh the new shoes stuck on there all right we're just gonna loosen these up some more to get them to release the tension off the springs completely off the rollers well all right you can see how the s cam is there the the uh tension is completely released off of them and then uh we're gonna go ahead and pull the uh pull the spring off right here and you can just kind of flip them off uh if you can get that spring right there to uh come off all right guys there's several ways to do this uh i'm not sure that any of them's right wrong or otherwise uh just whatever works best for you uh i've got a 24 inch uh crescent wrench right here to get plenty of leverage and i've got it clamped on the shoe you pull down on it like that right there it's hard to do this with a camera you pull down on that you can uh, pull this roller out that's how your spring is right there uh, take note of which way these go take a picture if you need to put it back exactly the way it come apart or look up and make sure you know how it come apart just in case somebody else assembled it wrong it's always a possibility but uh, anyway release that and then uh, do the same thing on your upper and it will give you enough clearance to get that spring out easier. Pick up on that with your knee. Still got it just a little bit. Nope, it come right off of there. And then you can see over here you can just push down on this side and it will kind of unfold itself like that right there and it will kind of come off together just like that spring hung me there anyway that's pretty much all there is to getting it off of there and uh then these here come out and uh you probably have to drive them out with a hammer or whatever and uh put a little grease on them put your new ones back in there uh and put it back together pretty much all there is to it all right guys this is the uh the new hardware that i just opened up these are the rollers and the bushing 
uh, that goes right here. Those go there. Uh, those two little pins right here, you will have to drive into the new set of brake shoes with a hammer. And they go, see how they go on the old ones? You just have to lay your old shoes beside your new shoes and uh, put them in there just, just as they are. These are your uh, all right. These are your uh, little pins that come in your kit to go through your shoe for your spring to grab. Just put them on there like that. And you don't have to tap them. Well, Tap them in there like that right there. That's what your spring grabs. Just like that. And then I always assemble mine. Uh, some people may do it differently, but uh, I always assemble them. I just uh, flip them on there. And uh, what I mean by that is turn this around the other way. I got them all backwards on them. All right, so I set them up here like this right here. This end goes on down here. This end down here is where your uh, S cam is at. These are your springs. You want these springs to go right in here like that. You want them to hook right in there like that. Just like that. And then, you put both of them on there at the same time. That's the idea here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this or not, but we'll try. stretches your springs you take your one other spring this big blue one in this instant here it goes on the other side that's where we pull the other one out from should be able to uh, get to hang in there like that and bring that shoe up and hook it in your uh, top one there may work better if you hook it on the top one first. See a little bit better what you're doing. Just like that. And then you put your rollers here in the back side down in here and you can use your crescent wrench again to do that rise up on it like that right there
All right, guys, figured I'd bring you in a little bit closer so you can see a little better there. These is uh, your rollers here. I got my crescent wrench on it right here. Just gonna push down on that bottom shoe, as you can see. You can kind of set on it if you want. And uh, you set that in there. And you wanna make sure that you push these little retaining clips in. Rotate it in so it locks in. You let off the pressure of it, and it's on there. Show you a little closer view there. You wanna make sure that these uh, spring clips pop in that groove right there. You can see how that works. These are your rollers. Roll on your S-cam. And uh, got one spring there. You got your two big springs there. That's pretty much how that works. That's all there is to it. Put your brake drum back on there and uh, adjust your slack adjuster and test and make sure it automatically adjusts. All right guys, sometimes this spring right here doesn't want to come off uh, as easy as it does others. And uh, you can adjust your slack adjuster to get your S cam here to turn and give you the most clearance that you need. Sometimes you gotta come in like a pair of needle nose or something like this and grab it and pry down and you can get it to unhook. And same thing for going back on. Uh, sometimes you just gotta fight them. And uh, sometimes they'll come right off and go right on as you've seen on the previous one. All right guys, one thing I don't think I mentioned while I had this apart uh, working on it is they make a Q and a Q plus uh, brake shoe. The Q Plus is supposed to be an extended service shoe, but there's some difference in the other brake components as well. The uh, the camshaft, the S cam, that's got the S shape to it, is different uh, on a Q and a Q Plus. Uh, so you need to make sure you get the right shoe, or you have issues. Uh, I've been told you can use a Q, which is a standard shoe, on a Q Plus camshaft, but you can't swap it the other way around. Uh, the, uh, the S is made different in the end of the camshaft. I think some of them are different spline on the end as well. Uh, so just you just have to make sure of what you got uh, and get the right, the correct uh, set of brake shoes for your application. Uh, just thought I would throw that in there. Uh, they also, they do make a, uh, a uh, spring tool. Uh, if you have trouble getting that uh, return spring, uh, that blue, the long blue spring, in there they make a, a spring tool i don't have one i don't use one it would make things a little quicker uh, i showed you how i do it but uh anyway uh thought that i'd throw that in there i didn't mention it uh when i had it apart anyway thanks for watching we'll see you guys next time